Hi guys, good afternoon, and this is the continuation of the tutorial regarding Microsoft Access. So right now, what we're gonna be doing is we'll t go ahead and take a look on the different um, data types that we could use for our table. So right now, we have a created a table on the last tutorial, and this is named the TBL example. Now, remember that at any given case, you could actually rename your table. Just be sure that you close it first and then right click and then you could actually rename the table. So it just be sure that it is already closed. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be checking the design view. And let's take a look first on the data type. So we have here short text and long text. So the difference between the two is the number of characters that you would actually use for the data that you will be putting in. Now, every type of data type has a corresponding format that you could see here on the bottom side. So every time you click or choose a different type of data type, you will be able to set it up properly. So let's take a look first on the number. So the number has different types of formats, like this one. You could actually choose currency. You could also set decimal places if you want. So right now it's in auto. Um, you could set the format and you could also set the field size. So now remember this type of numbers has certain uh, values that you will be able to uh, use depending on the data that you will be saving. And let's take a look on the date. So the date is the one of the most used for formatting since you could actually identify what type of um, format you want. So right now, I am currently in the short date. So we have here the day, month, and then the year format. But you could also choose time formats or combined versions of the format. So just make sure that if you see the table on your design, you could actually be able to set up the, um, the table as how you want the format of the data will be. Okay? Now, um, it is an important note that um, there are instances that you will be having problems setting up values for decimal places. Just be sure to mix up the settings on your um, data. Now, let me go ahead and write an example here. Let's say I'm going to be putting another field, which is number. And this time, I'm going to be putting in auto number. There we go. Now, this auto number is a setting on a table in which you will not be able to add values to it. It will just automatically add value by itself. So, let me go ahead and uh, use this one. So, I'm going to be saving our table. I'm going to go and view it on the datasheet view. And as you can see, I have already two numbers even though I haven't added one. So, take a look here. As I add one, it automatically will generate a number. So I'm gonna put it in 003. Let's say um, uh, June Marcos. I set up a date. Well, as you can see, it's already has added the um, the number on the auto number. Now, you will not be able to edit this since this comes with, see, there is an error. So, this will not be editable since the setting is auto number. So, to be able for it to be edited, you need to go to the design view and change the data type to be able to do that. Okay? I think that is just a short explanation on how these data types work. Now, some settings actually are able to, we are able to set up the uh, settings for our um, data or our fields. Um, let's go ahead and take a look on as one of the settings. So, this is one of the most important. This is the required uh, format. So, this would mean that you will not be able to add data or finish the record without adding a data. So requiring it means it could not be able to hold null values. That's one of the most important settings that you need to understand about creating the table. Okay?
So that goes for the different data types that you could use. So just try to use and um, mix in some of the properties that you would like to use for creating your data. Okay, so I think that's it. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. And the next tutorial will be for us on creating simple queries.